Hmm? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Might be coming to you. Uh, what did that moment when you made that shot mean? Do you feel like to this team? Um, I think it meant a lot. Um, just going back to the timeout, um, the play was drawn for for a D, and she was like, "No, we're gonna run it for Ka. She gonna score." So Nate's like, "All right." He drew it back up, and we went out there and we executed like to the T and I just had I was just in a position to just knock down a big shot. What was going on in your head when you stayed square? Um <laughs> it was it was just it was a moment. You know like I don't you probably don't know this but like when you get in the zone like I was there I think for the like minute I was I was there and I was just super locked in so um I was just ready to make a big play. Have you had shots like that in the past? Were you won games at the end? Mm, maybe once. Can't really remember. This might have been the biggest. This was the biggest. <laughs> Feels great. I mean, just sitting back and watching my team, um, you know, hold it down and play and compete. Um, I was just <laughs> jumping at the bits to get out there. So it just feels good being back with my team and uh, being able to contribute and be a part of it. Was there any worry about getting back out there after she missed the free throw ball in the hand one and you hopped over the bench, or was it pure adrenaline to say, I'm, I'm staying in? No, nah, no, nah, we was locked in. Um, yeah, no, nah, when that play was drawn up, I knew I knew we was going to win that game. So, no, nah, just, you know, locked in, what we going to run, don't foul. <laughs> just like that. And what was it like for you to just really be out there and feel kind of what the the space felt, looked like out there, really on the court with the size, with everybody together? Mm -hmm. No, it's good. I mean, we're just going to keep building, um, you know, keep getting better, keep locking in. Uh, I need to catch catch those passes. That's on, that's on me. I had to get my timing down, get these Butterfinger hands ready. Um, but it, like I said, it just feels good. Like we put in a lot of hard work in training camp um, and off season, everything. And then, you know, uh, seasons just go how they go sometimes. And sometimes you're a little delayed. And uh, I'm just, like I said, credit to the team. They held it down. They didn't crumble. They was like, we got this. We're going to hold it down for you. And uh, I'm just proud of them. Good to be out there. It's huge, literally. <laughs> um, like, let's just start with defensively. Uh, nobody's just going down there in the paint. It's it's not happening. Um, and then offensively, it just opens up things for us. You know, n nobody can guard her one on one on the block. And then uh, you send the double, and now we got shooters spaced around her. We get it out. Maybe we get a repost. Like it, it does a, it does a a lot for us. And also having back back uh, mm -hmm. defensively. Uh, she's long. Um, she can shoot. Like she can score. So no just <laughs> having both of them back is like having us at, at full strength tonight was was great. Uh, was it beneficial for you considering the time that you had left to shoot that shot that the ball was brought in on that side of the court as opposed to the other side, in which maybe you'd have to shoot your jump shot from the opposite side, if that makes any sense. This was more your motion as a right-hand shooter. Did that work to your advantage? Yes. Uh, and I knew I had time, so I had time to one, two, get it, and, you know, put it up even over BG. <laughs> Surprise, you can see yeah. over me. Remember, remember training camp? Yo, yeah. it was, yeah. What was the sense of you guys defensively because Minnesota was hitting so many threes with Brian getting hot? We were trying to, like, lock in on the, on the paint, um, but we still wanted to get the shooters off the line. I think... In spurts, we did a better job getting them off the line, but uh, some of the shots that they were getting were in transition. We had to get back quicker, a lot, a lot quicker, and to be able to get them off the line and um, get everybody back. Kyle, for DT to give you the ball to say, hey, give it to her, just how much does that mean to you personally for her to give you the green light? It means a lot. You know, um, what she is for this franchise, what she is for women's basketball, um, and what she's, she's done in her career. Um, 
clearly she's a winner, you know. Um, she could have easily, you know, been like, okay, cool, let's run it for me, whatever the case. But it, it speaks to her character, being unselfish, and like I said, being a winner. And for Brittany, uh, and same thing with you, BG, when, when she threw you the ball from the free throw line. It's almost like she wanted to get you involved. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, look, we, we've made a, a good connection in training camp, and uh, it's just going to continue to grow. I mean... I love going up setting screens for God. Like I do it all day, all damn day. Like um, she can come off, she can score it, she can get to the rim, explosive. Um, and then just the credit to to her defense too. She was like legit a dog out there. Like I would not want to have to bring the ball up against her. I don't want to catch it on the wing and she's down in a stance like that. That makes us instantly better. Can you talk about how. Mm -hmm. She's a good player. Um, she's going to make shots. She's going to make her teammates around her better. Um, we just got to, you know, always know where she's at, make it tough for her, um, make sure her catches aren't where she actually wants them, um, and then bringing the help behind. And I think, like like I said, we did that in, in little short sprits. Um, you know, we'll look at the film and figure out where we, re where we broke down at and, uh, cor and correct that. But... Uh, yeah, she's a good player, and um, you know she's gonna get her shots. Just gotta make them hard. So you guys have what you got? <laughs> yeah. So obviously in the talk of Cloud, Ka, and Rebecca Allen are on the team, and uh, all new additions. Just how do you guys think they're gonna be? The team's gonna be special this season and going forward. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, this team is very special. Um, credit to the organization for putting this team together. Um, they really did a great job. Um, you know, across the board, everybody brings something a little bit different. Um, and everybody's defensive minded as well, you know, and you can see it like we're, we're locked in and, uh, yeah, sky's the limit. I mean, you know, like we're, we're just going to keep growing. Uh, Brittany, was it just a big sense of relief after missing 10 games just to be back out there? I mean, I know how excited you were about this season. Mm -hmm. Talked about being defensive player of the year and whatnot. What is, what's just the sense that you feel just to be back out there? Just feels good, you know. Like I said, put in a lot of hard work this off season to get my body back to um, like a basketball shape. Um, you know, last year it wasn't. It was what it, it is. What it is. Um, but this is the best I felt, and then it was unfortunate, you know, to what happened, you know, right before the season. But lives have up and downs. You know, you just gotta roll with it. I think I've learned to do that. So uh, I'm just happy. Like, I'm just gonna take this win and then move on to the next one. Um, you know, I'll say this, um, Tasha is amazing and, you know, she stands up for, for so much and especially, you know, with the gun violence in America right now, um, just her bringing light, the shoes, everything that she stands for, what we all stand for, uh, you know, we have to do a better job. Like, we just have to do a better job. Um, you know, kids getting hands on guns and, you know, all the things that we see uh, is tragic. And I, I hope it changes. And, um, you know, we're going to, the Phoenix Mercury, we're going to continue to, you know, push that. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.